assalamu alaikum, Elena here, the Muslim Travel Girl. Right, I thought I'm gonna do an update on this because I'm in Saudi at the moment and I get so many questions asked about it and now with Ramadan and with Umrah coming in, um, it's gonna get busier and you know, more questions are gonna come in. But this is about unvaccinated visitors traveling to Saudi Arabia to do Umrah in Ramadan or generally Umrah in any other time that are unvaccinated and how does it work? Um, my social media exploded recently um, since I posted that I entered Saudi about that topic um, because there's so many who want to come and actually there's so many who have booked tickets and the airline was telling them that they need and they check Mukimap. I was asked for Mukimap at the airport. I was asked for like PCR tests and um, you know things like that because the check-in de desk agent didn't know the new rules <laughs> and I don't blame them because they check in people for so many different countries and they're not 100% aware of them but also it's important that you are aware of them so then you can guide them and you can show evidence and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post the link somewhere up here that has a link to my website where there is an actual confirmation from the Saudi Tourist Authority uh, visa that when you're an unvaccinated visitor entering Saudi Arabia or generally, uh, you don't need to do the Mookie map. The Mookie map um, is not updated. So if you go and click unvaccinated visitor, it will give you in red that actually unvaccinated visitors are not allowed to enter Saudi Arabia. This is not the case. You can enter Saudi Arabia. You do not need the Mookie map. You definitely need a visa. And I would recommend you actually do your visa. Your visa doesn't ask you for vaccination. So I would say 100% do your visa and uh, make sure that you know you're covered there and um, because sometimes you can get rejected for a visa even if you you know even if you haven't done anything so make sure you have your visa before you book any tickets and any flights just because now they're super expensive with Ramadan and everything and the crowds and everything is basically pre-Ramadan and um, so and the cost as well is like it's sorry it's pre-COVID not pre-Ramadan it's basically pre-COVID um, so it's getting crowded and it's getting a lot more expensive than it was the previous years um, because now more people are wanting to travel and obviously Saudi open for unvaccinated visitors um, so now they can enter another thing is you still need to book um, your Umrah and your Tawaf through the Itmarna app um, which is available you have to download that app when you enter now the other thing is you still need Tawakauna app to show while you're out and about. You don't need to show Tawakana when you enter um, the mosque, but um, in many cases when you're unvaccinated, it shows us white and green. Um, and I'm honestly not 100% sure how that works. Mine is green because I'm immune, I'm vaccinated. Um, but still in Saudi, as of now, when we go to a restaurant or where we go to the mall, they actually check for the visa, for the Tawakana app and they check that it's green status and you won't be allowed in if it's not green status. Potentially if you're an unvaccinated visitor and I'm gonna ask them, <laughs> next time I go somewhere, I'm actually gonna ask them an update on social media, but that's not a problem if you're coming for Umrah and that's not a problem if you're going to Mecca and Medina only. However, if you are planning to like go to Jeddah or go to Riyadh or go somewhere else, then keep in mind that potentially once you show it, it will be white and green um, and you still have to wear masks everywhere. The masks are must be worn in the masjids. The masks must be worn everywhere um, unless you're walking outside kind of thing. Um, but it's still a requirement. I know, for example, in the UK, we haven't been wearing masks for months and kind of feels weird back going back and putting masks on. But you do have to wear masks here. Um, however, for those who are coming for Umrah, and for those who are coming during Ramadan, it's very good news because as unvaccinated visitor now, you can enter. You don't need the Mukim app. Make sure you check the link and you go on my website um, for all the latest information. And I'm going to post all the latest information on the website. Um, so click the link below or the link somewhere up here, wherever I posted it with the latest tourist visa. And hopefully you will get all the updates. Um, and I'm going to keep updating also daily during ramadan i am doing an update on um the it, the it, itmarna app and booking umrah so it's getting pretty crowded and uh what i decided to do is every day from um you know from today 
which is like the 28th of March 2022 I am going to be posting on social media on Instagram and on Facebook so make sure you follow me there please um, to get the updates but I'm going to be posting each day the days and the hours available for booking Umrah and I'm going to be doing that for people who are coming um, or who are planning to come and just want to see how crowded it is they it's a red like it's a red light it's a light traffic light system red light and um, a lot of the times if you see they're actually red um that's not that you cannot book it that means that just it's crowded it's heavy crowded basically pre-covid crowd during ramadan um and then the green it means it's less crowded and then yellow it's kind of like it's getting crowded um the only thing that means that you're not you know you don't have time like you cannot book is if it's great uh, but in most cases i don't think they will make it great i think it's just gonna get an indication that it's actually busy um to go for umrah at that time and i'm doing that for people so when they come in uh, or they when they are preparing to come in they get an indication for that and um, if you want me to post for tawaf or if you want me to post for rauda um let me know and i can do that as well but at the moment I'm just posting for Umrah inshallah and I'm going to do that on Instagram and Facebook so make sure you follow me there also make sure you subscribe uh, to my channel uh, and watch some of the other videos I have on Umrah I have a step-by-step -step process of like how to download the Tawakal 9 in Marina apps that you have to do once you enter Saudi Arabia um, to make sure that they work for you uh, but that's on another video and hopefully it will come up on the player um,